Okay, so finally we get to start drawing some stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use different tools uh, that create line segments. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is the line segment tool, which is really good for drawing straight lines. Then I'll show you how to use a couple of the shape tools. And then finally, I'll show you how to do a couple of the freehand drawing tools. Now these are all going to generate vector paths, just like we talked about in a previous video. So I'm going to start off by going over here, uh, fourth tool down on the right. That is the line segment tool. And this is about as easy as it gets. So to draw a line, all you do is click and hold and drag, and you can pull this in any direction you want. But if you want to constrain it to a vertical or horizontal line or a 45 degree angle line, guess what key you hold? That is correct, the shift key. And so that is how you draw a line segment. Easy as pie. Yum. Now, next, let me show you how to use the shape tool. And actually, it's not called the shape tool. It's a collection of tools. And so if I go down here on the left, fifth tool down, uh, most of you will initially see a rectangle there. But if I click and hold on this, it will drop a uh, submenu. So you'll notice a lot of the tools have little triangles in the lower right-hand corner. Anytime you see those, it means you can do this. Click and hold, and then it will drop this related submenu of tools. And so here's rectangle, rounded corner rectangle, ellipse, polygon, star, and flare tool. So these two at the bottom here, um, you're probably not going to use very often, if ever. But the top three here, you're probably going to use quite a bit. So I'm going to make sure the rectangle tool is selected. And then again, all I do is this. I just click and drag. And again, you can pull this any which way you want to make any uh, size rectangle you wish. And if you want it to be a perfect square, boom, you got it, the shift key. God, I love that key. All right, so let me show you a circle real quick. So I'm gonna click to hold to drop the menu, pull down to the ellipse tool, and exactly the same process. And then, boom, shift key, perfect circle. All right, so nice, right? Easy. Now, as you look at these shapes, you will notice that two of them connect to themselves and the other one, the line segment, does not. These are called open and closed paths. And so let me get my white arrow tool here. So open path means it has two endpoints. In other words, it does not connect to itself. Closed path has no endpoints because the first and the last points connect to close the shape. This means it can also hold a fill color. We'll get to that soon. So open path, closed path. And that's just an important concept to remember as you move forward because those two different types of shapes will behave differently at certain times. Okay, so let's get to the freeform tools. There's two of them, and that is the pencil tool and the brush tool. So the pencil tool has been hidden down here. It's right underneath the shape tool. And if you click and hold on that, you will see the second choice down is the pencil tool. And you'll be surprised how often you actually use this. This is kind of the old bitmap style um, drawing tool, except instead of drawing with bitmap pixels, you are drawing with a vector path. And as you draw, you'll notice that Illustrator does a pretty nice job of smoothing out the curves. Now, in terms of what you can modify with this, you can modify the stroke width, which I'm gonna do right here in the properties window. And you can modify things like end caps and things like that. So we'll cover that in more detail later. But it's really just a way to draw a freeform shape without having to uh, unleash the dreaded pen tool, which I will demonstrate in the next movie. Um, okay, so the brush tool works very much the same way that the pencil tool does. This is becoming very pretty, isn't it? Um, except that you have a little bit more control. So now with those shapes marked, let me just mark that last one I did, come over here to the properties window. You'll see right here there is a brush menu. And so if I click and hold on that, it gives me access to different shapes of brushes. So for right now, I'm using just a circular brush. But if I go here, it emulates an angled brush or an angled pen. 
then I can draw with this and you'll see that this has a thick and a thin line to it. Okay, so let me just clear out my uh, artboard here. So I'm just gonna draw a box around everything with my black arrow tool and hit the delete key and then go back and get my brush tool again. And so you'll see that this can give you some really beautiful, really beautiful strokes. Now, it takes practice, especially drawing with a mouse can be difficult. If you have a Wacom pad, that makes it much easier. But uh, I've gotten pretty good at just working with a mouse just through lots of practice. Now, let me mark one of these lines again, and let me show you something else that's available here. Now there aren't a lot of choices here, but if you go inside of the different brushes here, you can see you have some different choices, like kind of an airbrush style, and then you've got this weird kind of Victorian decorative style. Uh, this one I actually use uh, fairly often, it kind of emulates dry brush calligraphy, which I think is, is very pretty. As you change the thickness on these, it will make the effect stronger. All right, so that is it for, uh, for the basic drawing tools, open path, closed path, shape, line segment, and then brush and pencil. You'll probably find a reason to use all of these at one time or another, um, so come back and refer to this video as you need to. Next, the pen tool.